Hmm. Let's see where that's at. Oh, out for delivery. You know, that just doesn't sit well with me. I really need to know what street they're on. aside I just want to say a huge thank you to the delivery companies between FedEx, UPS, Amazon Prime, DHL like like all of the guys okay and truckers it's just amazing the amount of work that they put in to make sure everything gets to our cities and to us and definitely a big shout out if you work within that industry thank you so so much very appreciative and yeah, so um, I do wanna say that before I get into the Dollar Tree haul, I did meet one of you at the store this morning. Her name was Teresa, so Teresa, if you're watching this, hello. Um, she came up to me and asked if I was filming and I was not. And then of course my cart was filled with stuff. So I don't, I don't know that Teresa was that surprised, but um, we started chatting and she told me that she was talking to another lady in the store before she came to me and I guess they had a conversation and Teresa asked the lady, I don't know what her name was, um, if she watched like Dollar Tree hauls on YouTube and the lady tells Teresa, she's like, oh yeah, Crafty Girl is here right now. And I was just like, what? So definitely feel free to come by and say hi if you ever see me. Um, so anyways, so hi to Teresa, hi to the other lady. I don't think she ever came up to me, but um, so anyways, okay. Oh, the other funny thing is, is that Teresa was just, um, you know, just shopping within Dollar Tree and she was telling me that she was uh, doing organization stuff. And then next time I see her, she's going back to the front of the store. She's like, I gotta get a cart. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah. I mean, just, just get the cart. Just get the cart when you walk in. Even if you're going for one thing, you just never know. So anyways, all right, let's go ahead and get into this haul. I have amazing new things as always to share with you, but this first one is not new. I've bought it several times and these are just the trash cans that I use at home. And I realized why do I not have a trash can in my guest bathroom? I've been living here since February. So um, got a trash can for that. That's it, just a good old one dollar Dollar Tree trash can. Okay, these are a must put on your list because I found the Hot Hands hand warmers at Dollar Tree. And usually I have to go into like a sporting, like sporting goods store, Dick's or whatever to find these. And let me tell you, they're not a dollar each. So I've picked up four of these. The display box that was at Dollar Tree showed the hand warmers and then the kind that you put like in your shoes, feet warmers, but I didn't find those. I only found these. So I picked up four of those. And then if you watch my vlogmases, is that right? Can you say vlogmases? I don't even know. But if you watch my vlogs, um, you'll see these in an upcoming video. So just throwing that out there. Oh, she's catching. Okay. Then I picked up more Christmas stuff. I don't even know how this is possible, but I found some new gift tags. As you can see, they're both the same. So I went with a two pack here, but I don't have these in my collection. The little reindeer is super cute. And you know, I'm loving the gingerbread house. And then the Santa is darling as well. And I love the one that says Santa stop here. Honestly, I listen, listen, I love all of them. Like, what am I supposed to tell you? 
So I got a pack of those and then I found this and I was like, do I have this? I just don't remember grabbing the one with Santa, but I love the snowflake one too. The Santa one, the snowflake, the reindeer. I don't know why I point out all the ones I like because then I, like we just saw it, it just ends up being all of them, but there we go. So I got those. I also got some more gift boxes. These, you guys have not seen me haul on this channel because I just found them today, this morning. Um, and I am shook by them. The other thing that Dollar Tree did that was new this year is they upped the sizing of their boxes and their gift bags which there's so, like i said there's a lot of gift bags i have not purchased and shown to you guys so they have huge gift bag options at dollar tree now um i love the candy cane look and then i don't know if you can tell but it just has that like old worn look to them which i thought was really cool and then i also found this one so this, you only get one box for a dollar. So I'm just gonna throw that out there. And then this one, you do get two. I love the colors, really has that beautiful vintage look. Um, yeah, farm fresh Christmas trees, really, really pretty. Uh, so love this find. Those are probably my favorite. And then I picked this one up too, which is really funny. It has like dogs on a sled, like little pugs. So cute, the snowflakes, love. And then the back, I thought it was kind of like random. I didn't think that they like really made much sense together, not that they have to, but I'm just pointing that out. I do love this one though for the mittens. This is a really, really beautiful box print. So, um, so there's that, I'm gonna just set that down over there. And then I have this one with the snowman. Really, really pretty, but I did get it for this one. Let me open this up because those stickers are just um, covering up the front of the box. But yeah, I definitely got it for the reindeer. Like how farmhouse does that look? I mean, you are leaping. Are you trying to leap out of 2020? Is that what you're doing? He's trying to exit out. You know exit left stage or however they say that and then here is this one which very farmhouse so if buffalo check yeah we're good buffalo check is just it's it and then here's this one again the, this it's covering up santa but you know you kind of get the gist on this one i like the font too really pretty so those were some new boxes i had not seen before then let's see Oh my gosh, this is such a good haul. I don't even know like what to show next, but let me kind of pull some of this stuff out. I did pick up some more microfiber towels. I have been loving these recently since I started watching Vanessa um, for cleaning tips, and I never realized that microfiber towels is really the way to go to clean certain surfaces. So I really like the gray ones, and yeah, so I picked up these you get two for a dollar um, I also found a new like back heat patch uh, I've never seen this brand at Dollar Tree before so I want to pick it up Theracare it's targeting targeted warming heat patch you can see I think you only get you get two patches so you get two patches in here for a dollar shows you how to apply it in a temporary temporary relief of aches and pains um, it's a single use application, so there's that. Um, okay, this next product, I don't know why I get this, but do you guys get this candies? Like, how do you feel about this? Do we love, do we hate? I actually used to hate these, and honestly, I feel like it's still a love-hate relationship, but every year I pick them up anyway just to have one. Um, let me show you some other Christmas goodies. I found these little boxes, which Oh, it was Dollar General. I did a Dollar General haul. If you didn't catch that, I'll link it down below. And at Dollar General, I found the boxes that do this exact little opening bit like this. And then I found them at Dollar Tree. And then here is this one with the presents. So I got those. And then I found a cute little Christmas fun pad. It's just like a coloring. I think there's like little activities and things you can do in here. 
Honestly, I got this for me. I did. I got it for me. I just love, sometimes I just have to color with bigger images like this. You know, I do love the adult, adult coloring books, but I do like the, um, the kitty ones too. And here's, here's an adult one. I found this one that says Christmas on it, which is awesome. Definitely new. But I do want to point out that there's a collection to be found with these. And I just now realized that. I should know this by now. I should be looking on the back of all these things, but I didn't. Oh, and you can do a free, free music download included. That's interesting. Uh, Joy to the World, Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy, The Snow Lay on the Ground, Character Dances from the Nutcracker, and The Holly and the Ivy. And then it tells you where to download the songs at. That's pretty cool. But then as you can see in here, these are obviously very different from, you know, the Christmas fun pad that I just shared with you guys. These are obviously a little bit more intricate. You would really have to use like color pencils to really get in here because a crayon, I mean, you could, listen, you could. Um, they'd have to be like really sharp and thin, but anyways, so I found that. And okay, what do I show you guys next? Okay, it's been a while but I finally picked up some more of these cups. I used to get these all the time back in the day on my hauls. Um, and then I just kind of like stopped picking these up. And then I found some Minnie Mouse ones, which my niece is obsessed. So I picked up all the ones that I found. This one is really cute. Absolutely anything that's Disney in my mind is such a great buy at Dollar Tree because it's a dollar. Cause this stuff is really expensive otherwise you know i mean look how cute this one is it says Minnie right there she's pink she's fixing her bow i love this one this one's probably my favorite and then here is this one a bunch of little minis rolling around yeah they also have like spider-man uh avengers all of those things but let me show you This is Harry Potter. And the other day, I think it was in the Dollar General Hall where I said I would never find Harry Potter stuff at Dollar Tree. Did I manifest that? Like what, what happened? And then here we go. You get all of the houses, if my camera would focus, there we go. So you get all of them here. That is gonna be Hufflepuff. Here is Gryffindor, Slytherin, and Ravenclaw. So this is my house. This is my daughter's house. You can go to pottermore.com to take your test if you are wanting to know like which house you are. Um, so anyways, I am shook that I found this. This is the first Harry Potter thing I think officially that I have found, I think. Y'all know how my memory is, right? Okay, then I found 12 balloon sticks what 12 for a dollar and you can see obviously it does not come with the balloons it's just the stick then it has the base it has 12 of the plastic bases that you can just like set whether you're doing like a cen center arrangement like for a party or whatever so I don't have a need for these right now but I thought I don't know if I'm gonna see these again so I went ahead and picked up two of these, but how fantastic is that? So 24, and then I found these, which are four, four yard balloon sticks. I feel like these are gonna go on y'all's list. Um, I don't know. I feel like I see this all the time in my neighborhoods and just in Texas in general. I don't know if any other states do this. I have no idea, but there's always like happy birthday signs. I've even seen from buying a home perspective, like the builders will put out like congratulations on your home kind of thing. So anyways, you get four, like I said again, and just so that you can see the photo, they're made so that you can stick them into the ground. I've not seen them before. And yeah, anyways, okay. Then I did find some brand name face masks and it's a Vino, you guys. I was so shocked to see this brand there and then this one is soy and kiwi and then this one is soy extract 
and exfoliates and evens textures and this one is exfoliates and mattifies i was showing Teresa this because i was so shook but um i found talk back phones in the toy section i've never seen this so this is also a brand new product um i don't it has green briar on the back of it uh talk into the phone and hear your words back what and and try it so let's go okay we're gonna go with the blue since that's my favorite color here it is hello pita hello 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 i've seen these before at dollar tree but i never quite paid close enough to attention to them and they're called 3d puzzles but you know to me it's like their rubik's cube but i never noticed the cute patterns that they have so this one has like a fruity theme so we've got a peach there then we've got a pineapple and then cherries and then on this one with a sticker it's hard to see but it's strawberries and then we've got watermelon here and then i found this one which i really liked it just gives me Harley Quinn vibes, but it's like a deck of cards, really. It's like, so you get the clubs, diamonds, spades here, hearts here. Sorry, I'm not rotating this very well. And then here is the Joker. But yeah, that's why I think Harley Quinn, because that's kind of like her iconic outfit. And look at this one. This one has color. And this one's just like black and white that I found for a dollar. Huh. What in the world? I picked every color that I saw. I might have missed one, but these were the options. And it's a digital LED watch. Date, time, um, hold on, how, how do, oh yeah. I touch the, there's a little button right here. Date and time what that is crazy this is going to be another cute little stocking stuffer in case you're um interested but look at that and then it, it is a, adjustable i don't know why it was hard for me to get that word out but so should fit pretty good range of wrists so there's that i've never i have never seen anything quite like all right that's it for today's dollar tree haul i hope that you guys enjoyed comment down below and let me know what from this haul do you think you'll put on your list that you want to find but anyways that's it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye Peta. hi operator um can you give me district 12 what what do you mean that's not a place <laughs>